How to create an audience in Facebook ads. Uh, so this is Facebook ads. You see over here it says audiences. And over here on the left, I'm going to show you, you, you put the menu on the left and it goes down to audiences. And then you come to the page that I started on. And I do apologize that it's so slow. You hit create audience. If you want to create an audience that you can save and just load it into your ad set, you're going to ch check saved audience. And then name your audience. I'm going to do nursing. And my location is going to be the United States. My age range, that's fine for me. I'm going to do the language. I'm going to do English. And then over here, you add demographics. So I'm going to do nursing. We got pediatric. You got to keep. OK, so there's two different ways you have to do it. One is you have to enter the keyword every time. But there's another way that's a little bit easier. So I'm going to add a bunch of these. And then you can hit suggestions. You want to add a bunch first and then add suggestions. And it will suggest some. And you can see it's a lot easier. You just have to click on them. But they do jump around a little bit, so you got to wait until it stops jumping around. And as you're doing this, you're increasing the size of people that you're reaching. And also you want to keep an eye on what's going on. For example, you see the word RN and LPN and BSN. You can use those for further searches. So I could go over here and do LPN and you see it will pull up licensed practical nurse. So I'll grab more. So keep on working with suggestions. It's a little bit easier. And you're just going to keep on adding until you, you fill everything up. Unfortunately, the way the interface works, it's a little cumbersome. And there's a lot of pop-ups. So I know you're curious uh, how everything else works. Over here you have something that's called an ex exclusion. Exclude people who are in at least one of the following. So let's say I do welding. Try books. Okay, so there's no matching, there's no matches for this one. So I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But you can change over here, you can change the age, you can include additional locations. I only want to do the United States. You could add an exclusion, which, for example, I could exclude Alaska. Set your age, you could do the gender, you could increase languages, you can add more of these. Now you see it said narrow audience and must also match. So this means it's going to have to match both. But I'm not going to use that feature. So then you do create saved audience. And you see that nursing shows up over here. So then I'm going to go to campaigns. And then I'm going to click on edit. It's going to appear shortly. Then I'm going to look for nursing, which is right here. And then I'm going to scroll down to audience. So this is my current audience, right? 
and you see it says 233,000, I'm going to use my saved audience for nursing, and we'll see if the 233,000 changes. Went up to 468,000. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this. This is my saved audience for nursing. I'm going to publish it. That gets it started. Then you're going to go back to audiences. You're going to go to nursing. You have to edit. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It's going to help. And then you go here and you click suggestions. You scroll down and add anything that you think you want with your group. Now when I add... It is adding to every campaign that I chose uh, this audience. So I don't have to go back and make any changes to any of the campaigns. So now we got a new word that says midwife, obstetrics, and midwifery, which I can add over here as a keyword. And there is one more feature, which is browse. You can go into something like interests and look for fitness and wellness and maybe I would find something there you could go into behaviors obviously it's very different under behaviors and you can search demographics for example I could do work industries Maybe it's under health, health care and medical services right there. And then you click update. Now that I'm updating it, all of the campaigns, all the ad sets, there was a message that said it was updating one ad set. Your saved audience was successfully updated and the changes will be applied to the following ad sets. Nursing, not delivering. Done. So that's how it's done. That's how... You create a saved audience in Facebook ads on the Meta platform. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.